Hello, my sister Sunil Ramakrishna. Here, basically, we are talking about one topic that is earthquakes. In earthquakes, basically, we are talking about the uh, topic that is currencies. In currencies, basically, we are talking about global warming, basically ideas. Basically. In this, basically, we are talking about the solution is twelfth number. Basically. In this, basically, I have just added basically this thing. Basically. I just got this idea, basically. That, for example, cyber cell group basically is there, right? Cyber cell group basically say that basically, if we see anything suspicious happening basically in the uh, particular account or basically particular mobile, then we just literally blocks the person's income basically. Income basically, for example, he's searching the job basically, then we send the information cyber cell group huh, basically. Currently, basically where they are sitting, that basically might be very difficult to track basically but each and every city basically have cyber cell group basically that are the police department only basically they have created the cyber cell department basically so they 100 percent know few people basically works from home basically and like this basically they say that basically we have done nothing so like this cyber cell department basically uh, and in this basically the uh, cyber cell security is there basically like this lots of things basically are there they literally blocks the resumes, blocks the buyer data, blocks the income, blocks the mobile number. So that basically nobody is supposed to track them. And then basically they will do the red sign also basically in the mobile number, in the, uh, in the uh, resume also. Like this basically company also basically say that basically, sorry, here, we can't do anything because cyber cell basically group has blocked you. So like this basically also things basically happens basically and this is also basically incidence if assume basically in this 200 people this person is also basically connected with this cyber cell group basically then what is going to happen to the cyber cell department that is basically across the whole world basically cyber cell department is there. So anything is going to happen to this group basically because they are doing their duties basically. They are basically, they are doing the block, they are blocking the resume, they are blocking the mobile number, they are doing the red sign. That is their duty basically. They are doing this basically. But here basically they are doing their duty, but the person basically is suffering. That is, now basically it has converted to 200 people and that has generated into the disease basically. So this disease basically is responsible, is cyber cell group basically. So assume that with some person told that basically, where is that cyber cell group basically? Can you please tell me? One of the doctor basically asked that basically. No, we want to know basically where is this cyber cell group. Then one of the person told that is wherever basically the police department exists. In that basically uh, there will be somewhere basically the cyber cell also basically exists. Some some cyber cell group basically work from the mobile and few cyber cell basically work from cyber cell group basically work from the home basically. Like this basically they are connected with the few groups basically they are never basically stays in India. They stay basically in USA, UK, Canada because nobody is supposed to track them basically. If anywhere, tracking means those people only basically can track who have the digital knowledge basically, who have actually the knowledge of cyber cell basically. That group only basically can track them basically because nobody has given the permission basically. For example, anybody want to know the mobile number of particular person basically then who can basically give tell basically for example my mobile number is airtel so only airtel group basically can give basically and airtel group basically have to give why because otherwise the cyber cell will group will say that basically we will block your airtel also basically that type of power basically they have basically one day they will say that also basically up to that level that type of power basically the government has given basically so like this basically they have to give the number basically that from where basically is he like this basically they connect to the resume lots of things basically happen basically reason basically cyber cell group basically are doing their duty but here the things basically converted that is converted this 200 into disease basically assume that basically cyber cell department as i am taking my example in really basically this has not happened assume that basically cyber cell group basically blocked a resume of sunila nair in this basically they have mailed the data sorry mailed the mobile number mailed the email id mailed the resume mailed the passport number everything to the uh, cyber cell group basically 
and cyber cell basically literally passed the data to visa consultancy passed the number uh, passport number to the each and every consult immigration companies like this basically they blacklisted the sunil arna has resumed passport also basically now what are the things going to happen as if that in this uh, blacklist basically in this basically 200 basically sunil arna air basically data is also there now what are the things going to happen just uh, tell me anything is going to happen to the cyber cell group basically because they have done the blacklist and they have done the blacklist of resume of sunil arna air and like this basically they had blocked the mobile number so that basically nobody is supposed to call him and basically if they will be calling then basically the mobile number is tracked like this basically lots of things basically assume that basically this has done because cyber cell group basically can do up to that level basically and few people says that basically they literally calls and basically they say that basically are you interested in this loan are you interested in that loan are you interested in basically this type of job basically in this basically the political group also basically sometime joins basically and they say that basically are you interested in uh, software sales are you interested in this sales are you interested in that job basically like this basically they also say but the motivation was basically but the main stuff was to blacklist that particular person basically here basically i'm just taking as an example basically the really basically this type of thing basically happens now basically 200 basically data basically is passed to across the world basically now what is the things going to happen basically assume that basically more than 50 crore people basically died due to this disease basically so the 50 crore people died due to the cyber cell group basically so cyber cell is going to get some punishment basically because this due to this group basically this has happened and police group basically is responsible for the 50 crore people died 100% na police group is being responsible why because this disease has generated uh, of the 200 in this basically assume that basically my uh, my data is also there and due to this disease basically 50 crore people basically died now who is responsible tell basically practically we shall tell basically who will be responsible practically basically who who is will who will be responsible then one of the person told that basically yaar and nowadays and basically this type of thing has happened so they basically say that basically we will give you some stipend amount so cyber cell basically groups send the people to that area that area and then basically say that take 2000 rupees take 5000 rupees because you are in jail basically that type of cyber group has also basically they have created basically that type of thing basically also they have created so like this basically they do up to this level also basically but This is has already generated fifty crore people has already died. Now who will be responsible? Basically, tell cyber cell, police department, or basically the software department. Basically, because fifty crore people basically has already died. Who will be responsible for this fifty crore people ended? Is cyber cell? I will ask a few questions. Option basically, this will be the and what would be the answer basically. cyber cell group basically most of people basically who are doing this type of stuff they only work from home basically assume that that is a uh, mumbai city and in mumbai city basically 50 apartments basically are there who are basically working this type of job and vadodara city basically there are 100 apartments basically who are uh, doing the cyber cell job basically from work from home basically so now basically the cyber cell department will be responsible or basically the end, uh, cyber cell basically uh, that are basically 100 buildings basically in the apartment that of 100 apartment are responsible for the 50 crore people ended or basically the police department is responsible who is handling the cyber cell department basically or basically the software industry is responsible or the companies are responsible who actually given the trouble to this 200 people and then basically due to that suffer basically that is converted into the disease and due to this disease basically the uh, nuclear power company basically told that basically it's a rules basically we can't ignore the single data basically so they literally will basically send the data to the environment and this is basically converted into the disease and 50 crore people basically died assume that this is corona disease only basically which has spread due to this basically the 50 crore people basically died 
so this 200 people will be responsible cyber cell will be responsible or the police will be responsible or the uh, software company will be responsible